What's going on guys? So there's been a lot of rumors flying around about the TBS Unified Pro 32 HV being neutered in the latest firmware. I'm gonna show you if that's fact or fiction and if you should really be worried about it or not. My initial testing of this was on the 1.07 firmware. And as you can see, that video is right there. Uh, this VTX outputted 1.92 watts on the highest output, which is amazing for a one watt VTX. And many of you have been coming back to me and leaving comments in the bottom of that video or getting to me on Instagram, letting me know, oh my God, they've neutered this thing. They, they, they've changed it. The power outputs are now lower and we don't know what to do and all that. So I just wanted to put this video out there to show you that they did upgrade to firmware. They did drop the overall output and I'm gonna show you why it's actually not that bad um i went ahead because i found out that you cannot roll back the firmware so this is like the third or fourth one of these things that i own uh the other ones are on the 1.07 that's the full uh, 1.9 plus whatever output and those will all settle down to one watt now there has been some people who have had issue with some of these burning up and what i think is going on i'll get into a little bit later in the film so let's go ahead and test this guy. I've already gone ahead and tested this off camera because I had a bunch of you asking so much, so often that I, I wanted to take care of you guys first and now I actually have the time to sit and do a bench test video. So uh, let's get this out there for everybody else. So this unit is already on the 1.08 firmware which is the latest you are unable to roll back the firmware in the agent software uh, i don't know if anybody's going to hack that at one point or another or they already have i don't know but for now if you go to the 1.08 firmware you cannot roll back 1.07 is the high output 1.08 is the new output and let's get right into that right now this is on race five and that's 5806 is the channel. This is set for 5800. And I've got a 10 decibel attenuator and this is set for 10 decibels. So let's get straight into this. Uh, by the way, I'm using the pigtail to, the pigtail that came with this. So as you can see, we're we're up at 1.63 watts uh, after immediate plug-in and 1.53. So when I had tested this earlier, it was on 1.4 and the unit was a bit hotter. So, uh, and that was just from, from unlocking it and, and what have you. So there's that, but it, it's very quickly, it's coming down to 1.4. So. Again, it's it's really not that big of a drop. Um, here we are, you know, we're, we're 1.5, 1 1.4. 1 um, and the, all, all the lower value channels are still outputting the same. I can run through this, but I really don't think you need to see the first half of that other video. Those values are still the same. It's just this, this highest output that they changed. And once this gets up to temp, it will run down and kind of settle out around one watt. So there's that. This is set at 105 degrees C, and I'm gonna let this sit here and run and let it get hot. Uh, and I'll come back and I'll, I'll test the temperature. So here we are, we're 1.14, and the ambient temperature in here is 78, 78.4. So as we can see, this has come down to around one watt. Let me get a temperature on the VTX. So. There we go, 
175, 176. So 215 is is about the the high limit on this. Um, but this has a feature where it kind of, it, as the temperature rises, it tapers off. It doesn't just cut. Like most VTXs will just cut. So as we can see, as this thing rises in temperature, we're around one watt. And this should settle out here, even though this device continues to get hot. We are 180, 183. And as you can see, the temperature has sort of stabilized here. Uh, or excuse me, the, the wattage has sort of stabilized. 185, 182, I'm gonna flip this device over and test the back. Yeah, so there we go, 206. Uh, 215 is equal to 105 degrees C. And as you can see, it's it's right around one watt. If by flipping the device around, uh, I'm getting a little bit different values, but I, I mean, we're not gonna get any closer than that. 991. So you can see if I kind of flip this around, it's gonna change values a little bit. So there we go. Uh, this is the Unify Pro HV on the latest firmware. So we're still getting the one watt at the highest output where it's completely being limited. And we're only being choked back from 1.9 down to 1.6. So that's a good thing. And let me go ahead and show you why that menial amount, and that's all it is, it's a menial amount, really doesn't matter. Now, why doesn't these matter? So suppose at 25 milliwatts, let's say just for easy numbers, we're gonna get one mile. Now, in RF, there's a whole convoluted math problem to get distance and, and milliwatts and all that sort of stuff. The easiest way to break it down, and I, I completely suck at math, but the easiest way to break it down is in order to double our range, so in order to get, say, two miles, and again, these are under like, let's say they're the best conditions possible. Um, and again, you're, maybe you're gonna get a mile out of 25 milliwatts. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm just throwing this here just for a visual reference of what this number really means. In order to get two miles, it, so the easiest way to kind of say how this does is in order to double the distance, we need to quadruple the output power. So at 25 milliwatts to get two miles, we need 200 milliwatts. Well, that's that's your setting from number one to number two, right? On, you, on most VTXs. So now if we wanna double our range again and get four miles, we need to quadruple this. We're up here at 800 milliwatts. So now we want to double this four. And we want to go to eight miles. We need to quadruple this. So now we're at 3.2 watts or 3,200 milliwatts. You see why that little bit of a drop, they dropped this from 1.92, excuse me, watts, and they dropped it down to 1.6 watts, or 1920 milliwatts to 1600 milliwatts so i mean what's our range difference there that's it's it's 
it's minuscule. We're talking 300 milliwatts. Now, that doesn't equate to two miles because remember, we're out here. We're, we're somewhere here. So if we double the 800 to 600, so we're, we're really right around here, somewhere around six miles at this new output. Okay, this 1.92 is somewhere here. So what'd we go from 6.2 miles, 6.3 miles? Here's where I'm bad at math and I really can't show you. Um, but we didn't lose that much. We didn't lose that much at all. So upgrade the firmware, that's up to you. This is your device, it's a $50 device. My assumption, and I'm not gonna reach out to DBS and go, hey, why did you downgrade the output power? Because they're gonna tell me what they feel like telling me. And that's not because they're doing anything shysty or anything like that. It's just any company is just gonna tell you whatever they're gonna tell you. They wanna sell more products. I'm here to tell you that my thought as to why they downgraded the output power on this is because some users were having a little bit of issue with it. Uh, there's been reports of uh, devices that will work and then all of a sudden not. There's been reports of devices that just won't turn on, period. Um, there's been other reports of some of these devices where certain aspects of them are not working, where smart audio will just not work. And I wonder if this power level was just a little bit for this device, even though it comes with a power output savings where it will downgrade at a certain temperature, it's possible that that temperatures uh, were just too much for this device. It's also possible, I think a lot of users disable the temperature limiter and then set it to the highest power output. And, like I said, these, these numbers are just a representation. They're not, you can get more than six miles. You could probably get more than six miles out of between two and 800 milliwatts if you know what you're doing. I'm not a long range guy, so I can't tell you the setup to do it, but there's a lot of long range guys looking at this going two miles, <laughs> I can get 40 on 200 milliwatts. And they're probably right. Okay, so just, just know that to the average user, we don't need this. The average user, we don't even need this, all right? So getting back to my point, I think TBS downgraded the firmware to this 1.6 watts to keep these devices from the general public from burning out. Uh, I don't think there's anything nefarious about it. I don't think there's anything to worry about it. Me personally, if the device is on the 1.08 firmware, right? I'm gonna show you that there. 1.08 is the new firmware and 1.07 is the old firmware. I'm not upset with this device at 1.6 watts. My other devices that are up here at 1.07 and 1.92 watts, I will not be upgrading these. Uh, but I'm also going to be running a lower temperature output on these and I'm not going to be in that that super high range. I'm going to be flying around at 200 or 800 milliwatts because that's that's all I need. If I need to absolutely punch through something or I want to go longer range or whatever, then I'll just run up to this and I have my transmitter on a switch on the on the quad so I can plug in, not worry about this thing getting hot because it's still turned off. Go to where I'm going to fly, and then when I'm ready to fly, flip that on. And the way that's done, and I'm going to do a video on that. So I've got my arming switches here. So I flip this to the middle, and that activates my VTX. If I flip this forward, that's my pre-arm, and that activates the VTX. Now I'm ready to fly. Arm and go. And that's how I have it set up. Uh, I'll show you the intricacies again in another video. So... In conclusion, should we be worried about what's going on with the TBS Unify Pro 32 HV? No, no, it's a non-issue. Matter of fact, the VTX that came out shortly after this 
that I have done a video on. If you want to see that, it's here. Doesn't even get to this. And that is a supposed two watt transmitter. Doesn't even get to this. You can, you can safely continue buying your TBS Unify Pro 32. This is still my favorite VTX, even at these power levels. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button because you only get to do it once if it's fun and I'll catch you later. Peace.